Hello everyone, Mark Tres here and welcome to the channel and today I just got this package and I'm excited to try them on that's why I'm in the court right now and this is, as you can see here, it's a logo this is Peak uh, I got it about two weeks ago so it just came from the mail and let's open it up so this is the Peak Tai Chi Flash Lou Williams signature sneaker and I got it in this gray, uh, white, black colorway. So it's a pretty simple colorway. Uh, in the website, it came with around four different colorways. And I chose this because it's the more minimal one. And you can pair it with almost all jerseys or whatever your outfit is. And it looks pretty dope, what do you think? So let's discuss first the materials of the offer. Uh, the upper of this one, the Big Tai Chi Flash, is made out of textile mesh. It's kind of like knit and on hand, it's pretty soft. And going to the mid part of the sneaker, it is fused uh, with this very nice iridescent color. It's like uh, indigo green and on certain angles, it is purplish. So it's a pretty nice touch on this colorway. I thought it was just black in the picture in the website and it's really dope that it's kind of iridescent and on the around the midfoot part is a textile material which is just a white it's like a neoprene material which is kind of soft which is nice and going back to the heel part of the sticker around the ankle is also textile mesh and there's a synthetic leather on the pull tab which is a nice accent giving it a more elegant touch to it or a more premium touch to the sneaker and on the lateral part there's a TPU plate and also there's a heel plate at the back and I know a lot of you including me thinks it looks like the Kobe AD and it really looks like it except there's no strap around the forefoot area it's already fused up in the material especially this TPU plate it really looks like the Kobe AD and this back part and of course the main feature that i'm excited with this sneaker is of course the the cushion setup of this sneaker it is using the tai chi peak or peak tai chi rather the very plush cushion from peak i tried the peak tai chi running sneaker i i borrowed it from my friend and it was really comfy so that's why I bought this. I really want to try it out because of its comfort level. And upon holding it, as you can see here, look how look how soft it is around the heel part. So I think a back protection on this sneaker would be great. And on the forefoot, it's also very plush, but there's caging, so I think it will make the cushion more stable. There's a lateral outrigger that will give you stability. And I can't wait to try it on court already and just this tabs has this antibacterial tech the silver ions from from peak uh, it gives you uh, less odor and of course less bacteria so no bacteria no odor the material this is what they're calling the upper it's peak net more 3d more permeable more beatable so it's more beatable material and it is also very structured and also i forgot to mention don't worry, I think the durability of the sneaker will be also be good because of the fusing around the toe area and also the traction goes up really high around your toes thus making it more durable. As for the traction pattern, it has a combination of a brain pattern with some herringbone pattern on the lateral part and the pattern also looks very similar to the hardened traction except for the brain pattern on the middle part so hopefully it will grip on the floor I don't mind the appearance of the sneaker as long as it performs court condition right now I think it's kind of dusty because they haven't mopped it yet for tonight's game so let's try it out on a dusty bar let's go it comes with this uh, rope laces I hope it doesn't loosen when I'm playing so that's one of the problems of having rope laces. Sometimes the texture of the rope lace is a little bit soft, but this one is kind of more intact. So hopefully uh, it won't loosen up when you're playing. 
That's why I prefer flat laces on a basketball sneaker, especially when you're running. Flat laces really uh, locks down when you tighten it up. And I hope this one works too. It's a little bit rough. The texture is a little bit rough. And it's kind of wide around the forefoot area, so you really have to tighten it to maximize the support, especially around the forefoot area. Guys, that's it. I just finished trying this out, the Peak Tai Chi Flash, and I must say, the fir my first impression on this sneaker, the first thing that I noticed is, of course, the cushion. The Tai Chi foam is really very, very plush, especially on the heel. If you're a heel striker, impact protection on the heel is amazing. In the forefoot, there's also impact protection, so you're not just subsiding on the floor. Another nice thing about the cushion is the cord feel and responsiveness. The lag is not there, even though the cushion is really plush. It is still very responsive. You're very low to the ground, and I'm really impressed with the cushion setup. And as for support-wise, nothing bad to say about support. In the forefoot, you're very much supported. You just have to really crank up the laces. It was kind of hard to crank up this uh, this first line of lace loop, but after that, you're good to go. And also, you just need to really tighten up the last day's loop in order to have that excellent heel lockdown and ankle protection. Fashion wise, I'm really playing under a very bad condition court right now. It's full of dust, it hasn't been mopped yet. It still squeaks a lot so squeakiness isn't uh, a guarantee that the traction will be very good but given this court condition, the traction still holds the ground and there's enough traction even though it was still very dusty. I mean, the dustiness level on this court is like 9 out of 10 dustiness because there's a construction, especially this side of the court, this construction here. When I moved to the other side, it gotten better. So I might try it out tomorrow on a clean court and I'll let you know how it holds up. So far so good, all the parts, especially the cushion, you don't need any breaking time. I just hope that it doesn't bottom down and I'll let you know if it does. I'll give you an update on that. And of course, another thing I forgot to touch up is the stability plate. It helps out because the cushion is really soft. So as for the rubber compound of the traction, I think outdoor use is okay with this. And as for dust pickup, there's a little bit of dust pickup here on the herringbone part, but all throughout doesn't have any debris. Or the torsional plate really does its job, which is very nice for the sneaker. And as for the price point, I got this at around 6,000. 400 pesos and I'll put the link down below where you will get it if you are interested in getting this pair and as for sizing wise it's a little bit tricky on China brands I'm a usually true to size regular footer 11 on a Nike and 10 and a half on, a, on a Adidas half size down and as for the peak I went a full size down so my size for this is US 10 fits me perfectly there's a little bit of space as for the sizing maybe for White footers go half a size down. On the contrary, you don't have a half a size down, so better check. I think you'll be safe on a full size down for white footer because there's enough space on the upper of your forefoot, so maybe go a full size down. If you have any questions, guys, hit me a comment down below. That's about it for me. I'll give you an update as soon as I play with this more. Cheers.